Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews, and welcome to a new year. And considering the last few films that I reviewed at the end of last year were mostly 70s and 80s films, I find it's only fitting that this year we are out with the old and in with the new. So, my first review of 2023 is going to be the remake of Terror Train, released around October of 2022. Terror Train stars Robin Alomar, Mary Walsh, Nadine Baba, Matthias Garrido, Cordion Moore, Emma Ella Patterson, Tori Barbon, Dakota Jamal Wellman, Tim Rosan, Romy Weltman, and Noah Parker. The film is directed by Felipe Gagno. Now, uh, as I said, this, uh, this being a to be original, I was not expecting much from this film. So, I was pleasantly surprised with some of the um, changes and things that they did with this film over the original 1980 film. A really good touch right at the very beginning of the movie is that Felipe Gagnon recreates that really cool intro to the train coming through the tunnel for the main title, just like Roger Spottiswood did in the 1980 original. I mean, it is so perfect. It is like, I mean, they put that together really well. It's it's almost exactly the same way. Perfectly done. Another improvement that this remake does over the 1980s original movie was instead of making the party that is being held on this train a New Year's Eve party and everybody's wearing Halloween costumes, they made it an actual Halloween party, so all the Halloween costumes that are being worn by all the characters makes a lot more sense. So, definite improvement there as well. Robin Alomar, as Alina, is much better in this role than what Jamie Lee Curtis was in the original. And I know you probably a bunch of you just uh, switched off of this review because of I said that, but be honest. Jamie Lee Curtis never gave a damn about the horror films that she did, and it showed with her performance. So, in the performance that Robin Alomar puts on in this, playing the same character, the same role. You can tell she's not just collecting a paycheck and she's just there. She gives a pretty good performance here. She puts her all in this role. And another plus to her being cast in this role, she looks like an Elena. Elena is a exotic name, as I said in my review for the 1980 original. Jamie Lee Curtis does not fit exotic look. Robin Alomar does. Just like I said in my review, where I thought vanity should have been flipped with Jamie Lee Curtis in their roles. Well, apparently... <laughs> The writers and the director of this film, Felipe 
Dogna and uh, Ian Carpenter, who wrote this, um, they saw the same thing I saw when I watched Terror Train 1980. Um, the character of Carney in this film that was played by Ben Johnson in the original film has been made into a female character now. And the character is played by uh, Mary Walsh. And she, she does pretty good in this role, um, given it's a quite a bit different from what it was when it was Ben Johnson playing it. Um, there is a new character in this one that is unique to this. Um, well, there's a couple, but uh, the main one is Nadine Baba playing Sadie. Well, Sadie is like an assistant conductor, kind of, on the train alongside Carney. And uh, she is super likable, and I really enjoyed her character in this. Um, it was it was a character that I was not expecting going into this film, and I was pleasantly um, pleased with her performance and, and the addition of this new character. Uh, Matthias Garrido playing the character of Doc. Now this is one where the original 1980 movie did it better. Um, Matthias Garrido just plays this character as just a complete dick, and you just don't like him. Period. He has no likability. Unlike the way that in the original 1980 film, you got the opposite effect with Hart Buckner. Matthias Garrido is no Hart Buckner. He's, he doesn't have the charisma that Hart Buckner has, and he doesn't play the character as well as Hart Buckner did. He plays him as just a generic asshole. And in that respect, you don't give a shit about him. Emma L. Patterson uh, as Mitchie. She's about the same as uh, Sandy Curry was in the original. There's uh, not an improvement, uh, but she's not worse than Sadie was in the role. So that's that's about the same. Um, Tony Barbon. Um, I've never seen this actress before. Um, she plays the role that Vanity played in the original 1980 movie as Mary. And uh, she uh, she's likable. I mean, I wouldn't say she's better than Vanity, but uh, she doesn't hurt the film with a performance that she gives in this. Um, they did expand. There was a president of the sorority in the 1980 movie, and they did give this character from the 1980s movie as played by um, Dakota Jamal Wellman in this, being credited only as the Prez. Um, but they did give him a little bit more um, screen time and a little bit more... Um, Elements, which he plays pretty well in this. The big improvement next to uh, Robin Alomar as Elena, though, is Tim Rosan as the magician. Now, David Copperfield, as I said, he was great on stage. He was very charismatic when he was on stage, just like he always was. Um, but as far as playing those sinister elements that they were trying to hint that he might be the killer, David Copperfield couldn't pull that off. Tim, Tim Rosan in this does an excellent job in this role. This was a huge improvement over David Copperfield in this role. He gives you the hints of sinister in there, even though I never, still, I never thought 
about him as, you know, yeah, they're going to they're going to pull this and they're going to make the magician the killer. I never thought that. But he does play it a lot more to where it makes you feel that way. Possibly. Um, now, uh, Remy Weltman plays the role of Pet and uh, she has a scene where she's trying to seduce um, Elena's boyfriend, Mo, played by Cordion Moore. And uh, she does... Uh, pretty good in this. I mean, she's, she's cute. She's, you know, f you know, fairly attractive. So you could see him, you know, uh, giving in, you know, and, and wanting to, uh, be with her. Um, so that she, she did pretty good in her role. She's like the best friend of, uh, of Mary in this. Um, and then you have uh, Noah Parker as Kinney. Now, I will say Noah Parker's Kinney is like the other two, um, Robin Alomar and Tim Rosan. He is better acted than uh, Derek McKinnon was, did play the character in the original. But there is a difference in this. And if you've not seen this movie, I am going to spoil things for you. So if you want, if you don't want any spoilers, go to Tubi right now and watch Jerry Train. And I'll then come back and finish watching my review. But in this version, Kenny is not the killer. He is on the train. You know, he, he, after the prank went horribly wrong with him, it did, uh, it did really, um, mess him up bad, um, mentally. But, um, he doesn't come to the train to try and kill everyone. That is his mother. Yes, they did pull a Friday the 13th in here. And Mary Walsh's Carney is revealed to be Kinney's mother. And she's there getting revenge on all of those who did that prank on her son. Now, this little twist here it worked for me. I I think it's it, it's a suitable um, change that I think works really well. And I've said it in my Friday the Thirteenth, nineteen eighty review, that the reveal of Pamela Voorhees being the killer came out of nowhere. Well, this one was much better done. So whenever Carney is revealed to be the killer by the end of this film, it works much better than Friday the... Th this is how it should have been in Friday the 13th. Carney is a character that we see throughout this film and we get to know as a character. So when she is revealed to be the killer, it is a nice perfect twist. Um, they do repeat the great moment from the original 1980 movie with the cage where Carney is trying to attack Elena inside the little cage and everything. And it's a well done recreation of the scene and, it, and it's even more intense due to the fact that uh, Carney ends up stabbing Elena in this one, and it looks like she's going to kill her, um, which was had me actually worried for uh, Elena as a character. Um, so it, it works really well. Um, 
the Tim Rosan's magician character is stabbed in a way that's similar to, you know, multiple times like David Copperfield was in the original movie. Um, but they don't even mention much about it, though. But at the end, after everything is over and they've stopped Carney, you, you know, you see Robin Alomar's Lena being questioned by the police and everything about the stuff. And you see just briefly, and they don't even mention it, you see briefly that the magician is alive and did survive. He's being taken and, and put into an ambulance. So um, I thought it was weird that they don't even point it out. I mean, I was watching it and I saw it happen and I was like, well, okay, he lived. And I thought he was dead for sure because they never did show that he was still alive in the film. So that was kind of weird for me. But uh, overall, I would say I would give Terra Train 2022 a 8.0 out of 10. Yes, I know. I'm giving it a higher review than the original. But, I mean, even though I, I think there are elements of this that were done better in the remake, um, I do not think that the way this thing was shot was as effective as some of the shooting that was done in the original film uh, by Roger Spottiswood. Um, he, he shot the film uh, much more theatrically and much, much bigger. Um, and, and his, but the other thing that you gorehounds out there and people that love uh, much more bloody and violent um, kills in, in your films. The kills in Terror Train 2022 far, are far more brutal and violent than those in the original 1980 movie. So the quality of the movie that uh, Felipe Dogman is directing here is not as good as Roger Spotswood's was. But they did up the gore, and some of the performances were improved. So, what did you think of Terror Train 2022? Do you agree with my rank? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below. This is one that you all were wanting me to review, apparently, because you voted on it in my uh, poll about uh, new movies that I wanted to see if you, what you guys wanted me to review next. And uh, this one was voted on pretty high. So um, I'm interested to find out what you guys thought of my thoughts on it. Anyway, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, because it really does help my channel out a lot. And it's a new year, so get ready for many, many more reviews beginning tomorrow. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.